Hello, my name is Erica Leon, and I'm a senior at Lincoln High School. You know! And this poem is titled, I Want to Get Loud. I suppose it's appropriate to describe me as a tortured soul. I wouldn't expect anything else at age 18, based with finding myself. Though I've also been referred to as a silent sufferer, the quiet one. And I need to accept that realistically I'm still finding my voice. When I hear recordings of it, my voice, my face involuntarily contorts, the pitch sounds unusually high, and the tone is softer out loud than in my head, which is unfortunate because I want nothing more than for my voice to be immense, booming. Sometimes I feel like if I got an Adam's apple implanted in my throat, people would find my voice more worthwhile to listen to, that I would like the sound of it more that it would somehow resonate farther, send vibrations up people's feet and sit in their gut. But for now, I have to work with what I've got. I want to be so loud that people turn their heads as they pass by, make faces at my audacity. Unapologetic is what I'll be someday. Released from anonymity, I want to scream with such intensity that my chest hurts. It doesn't matter what about, really, so long as it's something that makes my chest hurt. I will find a message that pounds itself into my sternum, and I will pound it into the floor, into the walls. Can you hear them? Are you listening? Being assertive was never my forte. And some would say that it's hereditary, because for years, I watched my mom being spoken over, spoken down to. I have spent years being spoken over, spoken down to. We will no longer be spoken over, spoken down to. My mom used to call me a people pleaser like it was commendable. It took me a while to realize that our tradition of silence was not a noble one. I will not speak in small, low tones to be ladylike or worry that my passionate vocal cords are too shrill for comfort. I will not be cut off, pushed to the wayside, and I will not bully myself into being silenced. I have 18 years to make up for. 18 years of being afraid to speak up in classrooms in crowded halls in bedrooms behind closed doors, 18 years of the deathly fear of offending, disagreeing. See the validity in my voice, because I have seen true pain, and I have stories to tell. And I think I might have found my message, and maybe my words will be absorbed. Sit with you for a while, just a short while. Can you feel them? Are you listening?